Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Today I've got another five minute make for you and we're going to be using our paper scraps in absolutely any colour you wish to create a really quick festive card but I've also got an example at the end that is non-festive, it's actually a masculine card. So this technique can be used for different occasions. So what you're going to need is your card base. I tend to prefer to work on a panel that is already cut down to fit on the card base just a little bit smaller just gives a neater finish it means if I do make a mistake I've not ruined an entire card base because they tend to be pricey if you buy them pre-made so I've just got white cardstock here I've got a stamping platform because I am going to be stamping in a little while um, but essentially the biggest thing is my scraps so I chose three colors that I love together they can be festive um, but you like I say you can go masculine with this so you can choose any colors you wish to suit your occasion and I've just cut them into strips that are kind of three or four millimeters up to about seven sometimes even eight millimeters I think there's a bigger one in there um so just merrily go along with your trimmer cutting little strips off making sure they are all at least the length of your card so I've also got some glitter and I've got some double-sided tape now you can do this with or without the glitter it's going to tell you your preference but I really love the effect with the glitter so what I'm going to do is I am going to start placing um, strips down and I'm going to do these ones diagonally. If you keep um, tuned to the end, I've got a card where I actually did them vertically and horizontally for a different look. So the first one I'm going to just put down anywhere at an angle like so, tear that off, always make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to do a few of these, keep them parallel, some closer together, some further apart. Now I'm going to bray all these strips down quickly and then peel off the backing and I'm happy to do this all at the same time rather than one at a time. Then start placing your strips down in a completely random order on your sticky tape. Now on some of these you're going to find that you've actually got um, your tape is wider than your strips, probably most of them if you've cut them as slim as I have but that's what we want we want a little bit of the sticky tape showing so I'm just placing them not always necessarily in the center of the sticky tape either sometimes I'm actually going slightly off to the side um, you'll see why in just a little while let's just fill this sheet up with all the strips now I'm just going to cut off any excess strips that I might be able to use in the next layer so any really long bits and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use myself a guide so this is just anything with the right angle and I'm going to pop it along one of the strips there parallel to one of the strips and then I'm going to use this as a guide to get myself a perfect right angle to do strips across the other way so then I'm going to follow let's just lift that up there I'm going to follow this one parallel to this one and do exactly the same as I've just done you want to try and space everything uh, in a similar way to how you just did before as well so similar sort of amount of strips and similar gaps as two once again we're going to just bray down these pieces bear in mind these are now going over your previous cardstock and sticky tape so you're going to have some bumps here Okay, now we can go round and trim all the edges of our cardstock. Obviously, use the correct scissors for this because you are cutting through sticky tape. Now, obviously, you'll notice you've still got sticky tape showing. That's where your glitter comes in. If you don't love having glitter on your cards, you can make sure that you glue these strips down without the extra wide tape. So I'm just going to pop this into an envelope to capture my glitter, and I'm going to sprinkle this all over the card. Now we've got some beautiful shimmery glittery strips around our tartan or plaid background. So pop this now onto your card base 
I'm going to stamp myself a sentiment. This is Noel from uh, the Seasonal Sentiments. This came as a creative stamping, um, what we call a cover mount, so the gift that comes with the magazine. So I've had this one in my stash a while, but I'm going to be uh, stamping this in an ombre look. So I'm going to ink up the top half in a sort of pinky, purpley colour, similar to the cardstock. Then I'm going to ink the bottom half in a teal blue. A bit more of the chalk. Now these are two different inks. One is pigment, one is a dye ink. But as long as you are going to ink and stamp a couple of times, you still get a perfect look. So there's the finished card with all that sparkle that just looks so pretty and of course like I say you can do this in absolutely any colour way you wish and here's the card that I did for a masculine version just using stripes a different way and of course three different colours and I've matched the card base to one of the strips there too. This one was without glitter so it makes it a little more masculine. Obviously I could have ombreed the letters there as well but they're die cut ones instead raised up on foam so i hope that's given you an idea for another quick card that you can create and i'd love to see what you make if you follow along with this tutorial don't forget of course to check out the playlist with all the friday five minute makes just here and i'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel just here as well thank you everybody take care i'll see you soon